Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. We are back with another DIY craft from Kira Bailey's collection. Today, we show you how to make the comfy camping table, slingback chair cover, fairy bread, and kangaroo cushion. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to help our channel grow. It's sure been a hot, hot day. Hey Skip, look, Kira's made us afternoon tea. She's such a thoughtful girl. For the table, draw a hexagon template that is 22 centimeters long, 17.5 centimeters wide, and has six sides at 10.5 centimeters. Trace your template onto thick foam board and cut out. You could also use cardboard for this project. We recommend cutting a few pieces to stack and glue together for thickness and strength. Cut four more rectangles, four centimeters by six centimeters for the table legs. It's optional, but we used a bevel cutting tool to make a 30 degree angle cut along the bottom of each leg to achieve the same outward slant as seen in the American Girl version. Before painting the tabletop, we covered the exposed foam core edges with strips of white poster board. Paint the bottom, top and sides of the table a classic mission brown. Use a black marker to draw in the wood grain details. Paint the front and bottom of the legs. Next, flip the table over to position the legs. We placed ours 1.5 cm from the edge as seen on screen. Mark in pencil to give you a clear guide for positioning. Attach the legs with hot glue, noting the incline of the leg piece. You will want the slightly longer end facing outward. Moving quickly, flip the table over and gently pull the legs outward so the angle base of each leg sits flat on your surface. Finish painting the sides and bottom of the legs. We will make Kira's slingback chair cover from calico fabric Cut two rectangles 38 by 16 centimeters. Take one rectangle and reference images from the AG website to sketch the pattern in pencil. Go over your lines using a combination of white acrylic paint for the broad zigzags and tribal dots and white gel pen for the smaller dash lines and pinstripes. When dry, Place this rectangle on top of the other with good sides facing in. Sew along three sides, leaving the bottom short side open to turn the fabric out. After sewing, the width of our canvas was 13.5 centimeters, just the right size to fit the Our Generation camping chair. Remove the previous fabric sling to fit our new calico one. Wrap the fabric ends over the dowel rods of the OG frame, pinning in place. With needle and thread, hand stitch these sections closed. Our camping chair looks great, but could use a cushion. We are using sheets of blue and magenta felt. Google a kangaroo silhouette image, then copy and print for a template. On a 12 cm square of felt, attach your blue felt kangaroo using fabric glue. Aim to get your glue right to the edge of the shape, so the tails and ears don't peel back later. Position in the centre of your magenta square, and allow time for the glue to dry. Cut a second magenta felt square to lay on top. Machine or hand sew it around all four sides, leaving a small gap at the bottom to turn the cushion out. Stuff with pillow fluff or batting, then sew the gap closed. We have made fairy bread before on our channel. You can find the link in the description box. However, to better match the AG version, we made two bread slices the same way we did in our DIY spaghetti dinner tutorial. Next, trace around your bread onto white poster board. First, colour in yellow for the butter. Make dots and dashes with coloured pencils for the sprinkles. Cut inside the original pencil line, making this topping piece slightly smaller than your bread slice. 
then glue on top. We found liquid glue works best. To serve, we used the leaf plates from Leah's picnic set. And the pink drinks are from an older AG games table set. We bet Kira enjoys her evenings relaxing under the shade of a gum tree, snacking on fairy bread. If you haven't already, subscribe to Always Dolls and hit the bell icon so you get notified as soon as a new video drops. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun.